Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel. And uh, one of the things I wanted to mention, because I've noticed it a few times, and uh, when we get updates and when we get new feature updates, there are some things that sometimes turn on in the startup uh, that maybe you've disabled it to make startup faster and make your PC run faster. So it's a good idea every time there are big updates uh, to go and check the task manager for what's starting up with your PC. So when you right click on the uh, start button, you can go to task manager. And by the way, this works also for Windows 10. Uh, go into startup apps and look at what is enabled what starts with your PC and do you really need it and want it to start with your PC so um, there are a few things that were enabled that I didn't really want so for example uh, Microsoft 365 Copilot I disabled the um, um, there's another thing here which is a Microsoft Teams which I had disabled and came back, actually, I probably should uninstall it. Uh, so there's a few things like that uh, that came back enabled, including Edge. Edge was enabled when I had disabled it before. Um, so you could go through the list, check out what you don't want to have at startup. And uh, this is, uh, of course, something that you have to learn a little bit what it is. If you don't know what something is, like, for example, here, what's this? R-A-V-C-P-L-64.exe. Um, so it has a, uh, a microphone icon, so it's probably due to the sound card of this computer, uh, which I let enabled. Um, if you disabled stuff and you're not sure, well, what you should do is take note of what you disabled, restart your PC, and see if there's any impact. If there's something that's not there anymore that was there before, well, you can always go back and know what you actually disabled, and you can enable it back to have it you know, working. And, of course, there's a few things that you don't touch, like the security health system tray, which is the, the, uh, the Windows security app, stuff like that, uh, that you don't want to have uh, disabled. Um, and here, for those that wonder about the Microsoft Defender app here, that's a different thing than what I'm using with the antivirus here. Uh, it's another uh, one that I've actually tested. I've disabled it because I don't use it, but I kept it because maybe someday I could make a video about something on it. So uh, anyways, you disable what you can, and you keep w the just bare minimum of what you really need. Uh, this will definitely help your PC boot faster and also run faster because these won't be in the background running all the time. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.